What's up, guys? We got some dirty windows, ugly rows, shaggy old mustache. But hey, we're farming. It's uh, 92.3 degrees. I had to recalibrate this uh, antique guidance system here, but um, we hip up old corn ground with disc at one time. Corn's showing out. Corn is absolutely showing out. Uh, we're cutting, still cutting corn back in Aberdeen. Uh, after we get there, that'll be all the early corn. I think we'll probably have to wait for moisture. These hippers are giving me fit. It's got a bearing down on this side. Um, corn stalks are absolutely balling up. Ugly rows. But hey, it's fall. It's going to rain all winter long. And, hey, to be honest with you, this old antique got it system is doing pretty good. I calibrated, got the field right over there, had full signal. I can't complain. I'm not having to shift at all, one end or another. At the ends, nothing turning. Of course, I ain't trying no tricks, but uh, yeah, I got a bearing down right over there. I have to change that in the morning. Oh, my old green rolling disc blade hippers. They doing it, boy. They are doing it. <laughs> Barely are hitting them on the ground. Uh, 32, 31%. Hey, they're rolling up straight. No, none of the buttons work on this thing. As you can see, it's doing some kind of crazy coverage. To, to memory card's full in this thing. We intended on all our rehipping to be uh, done with the 295 like we do. Got the best guidance systems on them, but of course, kind of a spur of the moment idea. Um, Lynn's got one of the 295s over there in Aberdeen hooked to a buggy. We should have hooked this to the buggy. At the time, it had tanks on it when we hooked the buggy up, so we was in a little bit of a hurry. The buggy was going to find something right there. A hog or something. Got a hit or shot or something on the side of the road. See that? Yeah, they done flew off and I was scared of them. Anyway, yeah, our plan is to come in there with Buster Choppers, slick it up, chop up these uh, decayed corn stalks by the time that we get to it. Run water fur down here in this lower side of this field. Uh, like I said, corn's showing out. Cutting about 250, 260 across, eh, not across the board, but this little patch here now. Uh, well over 200, most of it, I believe, on average, which is pretty good for us. Dry, all dry land. All dry. Um, yep, putting a down shift. Pick this baby up. Turn. Apologize about this glass over here. You ain't nothing to see out of it anyway. Business in the back. Oh, man. I'm finna get to that truck here in just a little bit. Make me about two more rounds and we're gonna go to the house. They, uh, yeah, I got one inch. Close enough. I'm gonna kind of refreshing up these beds before we plant cotton. Uh, this is sort of sticky dirt, a little more clay. You can't really tell how dry as it is now, but hmm, sun is on me. Oh, old school rolling hipper beds, balling up with corn stalks, got it bearing down. Supposed to rain, it actually rained on me a little bit. I'm gonna try to finish this field before it rains. Change these hippers in the morning. I don't have a hipper down here. It's six o'clock maybe. But, uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. It'll be a lot worse. It was a lot worse earlier over on that end. On the disc, it wasn't cutting as deep, and more corn, more corn stalks. Uh, they were balling up. I couldn't let them down. I just the gauge wheels, like I said. Um, I like these old rigs for fall tillage. We tried the Lister cultivators, the big Great Plains rig that we got. Uh, we swept with. There's old Mickey, I believe. What's up, Mickey? 
They had a little corn for us, Mac Knight Brothers. Um, yesterday, the day before. Yep, everybody had a big dove season. Kill some doves, cut some corn. But, yep, thank y'all for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us out. Um, pulling this 285 right here. It's good. It's a good planting tractor. Not an ideal hipper tractor. It'll, you know, if it's hipped up, it's pretty much stayed in a row. That's why we got this old guy that sits on it. But it's doing a job working with what I got today. The two hipper tractors are 65 miles from here. And we're rolling out chunks of corn stalks. Let me know what y'all think. Maybe it'll work. Take that buster chopper, chop up all the McKay corn stalks, flat top in beds, set in. Uh, maybe we'll get a rain. Maybe do that about March, about April the 25th. Set in with cotton planters on a hard, firm bed and packed in rain. About three, three good low packing rains. Uh oh. Got her balled up there on that end. Y'all see that? Don't do it out there outside. Gonna let it down. Uh oh. Big time problem. Just gonna back up. Keep the AB line. Oh, and stop it just a little bit. Don't let it down too much. Back forward. Tote it. Boom. That's the best you can do sometimes. That's what I was talking about. We just had to live what we got. And we can always, you know, come back to this rig or something else for fall, but we'll probably just let these rot. Yep. Thank y'all for watching. Paint the screen double time. Diagonal looks like. Straight enough. Maybe.